Hi, I'm MJ Aragon, the Purple Haired Fiber Warrior. We just want to thank you all so much for, for following, liking, sharing, and subscribing to our YouTube page, our Instagram, on WordPress, and Facebook page. Um, everything that we do is shared on our Facebook page, so anything you want to find, you can find it there. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. You are not alone, neither am I. Love y'all. Hello, welcome to Fiber Warrior, my new normal. I'm MJ Aragon and I'm here with my producers, Jojo Merrix hey. and Tony Jeffries. Ah. It's season two. Yay! I'm so happy to be back, you guys. I'm I've it's been a long time going with all job issues and my health issues and everything. It just seems like one thing after another. So we had technical issues. If you're wondering why we're doing season two episode one again it's because we had some technical issues a video cut out in the middle of the last one so we had full audio but not full video for youtube so now we are going to redo it all and then scrap the first one um i'm going to talk about basically the same things um maybe different blogs this time but essentially we are uh, oh and i haven't i'm not purple uh, i have so much going on that i just haven't had time to deal with my hair so if you're wondering why my hair is not purple it's because I just uh, well I'll get into that later I promise so uh, one thing we're gonna do is um, we've decided to go for shorter episodes so our episodes are now gonna be about 20 minutes uh, it's just gonna be me um, occasionally Christy might pop in here and there she's she's got so much going on that she's gonna be our occasional very occasional co-host if she does ever have time but um, it'll just be me I hope you don't get sick of looking at this face. Uh, so since we've been gone, um, we've worked on a few things. So one of the things I worked on that I'm really excited about because my granddaughters live far away. My beautiful granddaughters, Ami and Aria. And I don't get to see them all the time. And I thought, what a great way for me to be in their lives from a distance is if I read some stories to them. So I've started Tales with Anna MJ. And it's on YouTube. So far, we just have one episode up. But we have, a, we have another one that's just about ready to be done. And then, and then you know, we'll work on from there. But um, if any of you have children or anyone who knows anyone who has children that, that you think that they'd enjoy hearing some bedtime stories, please, please share it. Um, it's all on my Fiber Warrior page. Um, and it's just it's titled Tales with Nana MJ. You can find it easily there. And what I've been working to that's near and dear to my heart is a PSA. Um, the PSA is something that I think that we all will will be happy to get the word out about because it's uh, it's very important and this time of year is is very stressful uh, for us with chronic illnesses even more so than any other time of the year. Um, family and all the pressures of gifts buying and all the just all the things that seem to come with this time of year uh, so I'm hoping that we can get this PSA out there if you guys can help me get it out there and I'm sure that you'll appreciate what we've done here we worked really hard on it and uh, the more people you share it with it, the better because we want people to understand us a little bit better people with chronic illness not just fiber but anyone dealing with pain every day to understand that the things that they say to us are, are very hard on us sometimes and this time of year especially so uh we will have this out this week it's just about done just a couple little tweaks and then i hopefully will be posting it maybe friday saturday at, at somewhere somewhere soon we're gonna get out there because it's important um i'm gonna try and have lighter episodes this one's gonna be a little less light than i planned because i got some health issues i was gonna share with you guys but we do intend on doing something a little lighter have you know talk about things that can make us happy my friend kim is, is working on toolboxes so i might share some of that and i'm going to read uh something i wrote about what's going on with me um just a comp uh, just a post i wrote on dear fibro that i'm just gonna read that to you and then uh a blog and a poem that I worked on while we were while we were on our little hiatus. So I just posted this yesterday, and so I'm just going to read this to you. Um, I was waiting to tell you all because I had to go back to my doctor today. I have to be honest with you. I'm not doing well. 
I'm in hypertension stage two, borderline hypertension crisis at 175 over 108 today. And that was Monday. Last Monday, I, I was at uh, 170 over 110. I'm in danger of a stroke. The doctor gave me not one, but three different meds today. I'm in disbelief, really. I could actually have a stroke at any moment. My doctor was adamant that I take this very seriously. I have to take my blood pressure when I wake up, take a pill right after, then two hours later, check my BP again. And if it's still above 130 over 80, then I have to take another pill and also Xanax once a day. And again, as needed if I'm having any, if I'm having an anxiety attack, plus all the meds I already take. And I hate taking meds. You guys know how much I hate that. Um, I had to post, I had posted about uh, how to look out for signs of someone having a stroke or a heart attack last year, I believe. And uh, never in a million years did I think that I would be at risk. Please forgive me if I don't respond to comments or messages right now. Um, I'm not looking for sympathy or prayers or anything. I just need to put it out there into the universe before my head explodes. Because yesterday, I'm, I'm feeling better today, but yesterday I was, I was a wreck. And, you know, I shared a little expletive at the end because I was just, the frustration was just intense. And, uh... As usual, I, I signed off as I love y'all and, and thank you for listening. And uh, so I'm doing what the doctor said. I'm taking my medication. I am taking my blood pressure. Um, the medication does seem to be helping. I, I have my blood pressure has gone down a little bit, so that's good news. Um, but it's not something that I want to have to continue to take. And there's a whole bunch of reasons why. Um, I'll get into that another time. Um, I wanted to read... A blog that I wrote it's called um, it's number 15 I wrote it a while back uh, it's called my letter to you it goes like this my dear fellow fiber warriors excuse me real quick. Uh, darling I am so sorry yes sorry we use this word too often I'm aware but I truly feel that way when I've missed something or someone's cry for help I try to remember everyone and reach out when I can, but alas, I am only one person, so I miss things unintentionally. And then inevitably, I feel terrible when I've discovered that I have. I wanted to see what was going on with you. I know you and I are not best pals and that the distances between us are great, but please know that I'm here for you if you need a nod, gentle ear, and or shoulder. Because that's what we should do for each other, because not everyone will. No one shares their true selves on social media. It's let's keep up with the Joneses or one-upping or just simply putting a pretty mask over what we are really, what we all are really dealing with. I'm a private person. I have only recently been able to share the truth with everyone on my Fiber Warrior, my new normal podcasts, blogs, etc. It is with much trepidation that I share some things, especially when it comes to my children. That's the toughest and the most heartbreaking thing to share. But I know that sharing these things can help others as well as allow them to see that I am true and trustworthy because in this climate and social media nonsense, people feel more disconnected than ever. Our truth shall set us free. I feel what you're going through, been there, and I can't honestly say I will never be there again because we just never really know what life will throw our way at any given time. Life is a crapshoot and we just have to figure out how to navigate through this rocky terrain. During our journeys, there will be flat, straight roads, but we should be here for each other during all of them, especially the toughest terrains. That's when those less experienced will fall to the wayside. I hope you haven't let those less, less than worthy people in your life have any more of an impact than they effing deserve. You are you, and no one can understand your trials and tribulations more than we can. You have to be knee-deep in the crap before you can even begin to have a concept of what strength it truly takes to pull yourself up and out, when after all, it would be so much easier to just give in or give up. On my darkest days, I have to work to stay present, to stay around for my loved ones, whether they believe me, believe in me, or not. It's so tormenting to know that the ones you love the most could seemingly care less. We have to climb up and out every day because, our, because of our illnesses, etc. Tear us down and try to put us under every night. I know how strong you are, and not just as a woman or a man, 
but as a person whom tries to take on the world, helping those they can, while trying to stay positive, sane, and happy, all by ourselves. We all try so hard to be present. Be proud of yourself. You are not alone. You are loved, and I am here for you, if and when you need me. Love and hugs to you all, my darlings. FYI, feel free to share this with anyone, because I am not afraid to speak my mind, nor share my thoughts with others. With others. Remember to be open, feel free to cry when you need, and then be strong. Be the strong person we know we are. This was mostly a message I had sent to a friend today, and this was a few months back, whom is struggling like we are. But after writing it, I realized that this is how I feel for and about all of you. So this letter, message, is to all of my fellow fiber warriors, young, old, male, female, every race, religion, orientation, etc., I am here. I love you, and with open arms, I embrace you. You are my family, and you are truly not alone. I love y'all. I, uh, I don't write one. I wrote one little. I wrote one little. Um, well, I wrote a couple actually of uh, poems. If I can remember what one it was oh yeah here it is um i think i read this one on the original episode um it's called uh, broken yet beautiful we are broken yet beautiful beautiful expressions of whom we once were ever evolving within art music literature indeed fractured yet strong and resilient filled with emotion hearts on our sleeves too huge to camouflage beneath our flesh, vulnerable platforms purging ourselves of what lies within, imperfect beings, hearts too full, feelings so raw, minds still misunderstood. Um, I wrote that one in September, and we all have to remember that, I know that a lot of us look at ourselves in the mirror and we think, man, I don't, I'm not myself anymore. I don't look the same. I don't feel the same. I don't act the same. We do, we do evolve. We have definitely evolved from who we once were. But see, that's the part of the journey, the journey of finding your, yourself again, this new person, this, this new normal that we are now experiencing. And as we go through this journey, we have to find our new strengths. And my new strength um, was mostly in the beginning, it was mostly all the research I did. And I'm talking about real research. I'm not talking about just, uh, you know, reading other people's uh, journeys only. I was reading like the real raw medical material because I wanted to have the information. I, I'm the kind of person that needs the knowledge. I need to know as much as possible. So um, I did a lot, a lot, a lot of research. And then after all those years of doing all this research, um, and I, in the back of my mind, I'd wanted to do something like this, some, some kind of fibro awareness type thing. And now that we are doing this, this podcast, um, this is, is what helps keep me strong, knowing that, um, that I'm able to help other people. And of course, I doubt myself every day. We all doubt ourselves. Don't think you're alone in that because we all do it. I do it. You know, I may appear strong and like I have it all together, but I don't. I'm just like you guys. I have those really, really rough days. And, uh, you know, maybe I pull it off better than some people. Maybe I don't. I don't know. But I, I do my best. And being able to do this and knowing, and I'm, and I can't tell you how amazing it is for me when, when I have you guys message me because it's almost like you know that I'm having one of those doubtful moments and then I get these wonderful messages of you guys telling me how much I've helped you or how much you love reading my blogs or watching the podcast and and it's so heartwarming it really means a lot to me because it's those doubtful moments that that can make you feel like why am I doing it? Am I making a difference? And then, and then you guys send me these awesome, wonderful messages and it reconfirms that, yes, I guess I am making a difference. And, and, and even if it was just one of you, that's knowing that I'm helping just one of you and I've gotten so many messages. So you guys, my heart is full from your love, from your respect, from your comfort and, and empathy and understanding and, 
everything that you're going through that we can share those things and that you guys are reminding me that that I'm doing something good here and I just want you to know how much that means to me um I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think that we needed uh, a voice for this illness because fibro warriors yet and still is not at the top of the list when people think about, oh, someone's sick because they look at us and we look fine. Uh, Lady Gaga speaking out on it. Uh, I, I still have yet to write a blog about that. Yes, she may, she may be imperfect. She may be the imperfect person to, to talk about it because she hasn't chose her words really because I think that maybe you know, it's, it's a new beginning for her. So she hasn't really sorted it all out, but because she is very well known and she's out there in the public eye that it will help us. It will help us get, uh, recognition for the illness. It will help maybe people, uh, try harder to find a cure. And I'm hoping that she of course is, is going to do her best to get it out there to get people to, to try and find out how to cure this or at least find something that's more so than a band-aid because that's basically what the medications are now is just a band-aid so i'm hoping that her celebrity will help bring enough awareness where things will move along quite quickly whereas before that it was such a snail's pace and uh I, I've had I've noticed some, some some minor things, some minor improvements, like for Lyrica commercials. Now I'm not saying Lyrica is for everybody. It's not. Some people it works well. Some people it doesn't. But um, what I'm saying is that the commercial that I've seen recently has changed. They actually say now in the beginning of the commercial something along the lines of that how they may appear normal, but they're truly sick. And I was so thrilled to hear that line on that simple commercial for Lyrica. But the fact that they said that was so important because people do look at us and they think, you look fine. We hear it all the time. It has its plus and minuses. I don't want everyone to know that I'm sick. So when I'm out in the public, it's, I'm glad that people can't tell. But when your loved ones look at you and say, you know, hey, you don't look sick and don't believe you, that, that is, of course, the other side of the coin. So having a commercial like Lyrica state that is, is important. I think that that was important. And I hope more drugs for fibro that they work on that they work on getting that message out that yeah just because your loved one doesn't look like something's wrong with them that they are sick and it, and it is something that that's difficult for us and we all love to put on our smile and hide how we're feeling so you know that of course we, no one wants you, no one wants to show that side of themselves because there's a couple of reasons one you don't want people to feel sorry for you nobody wants that and then two because you know you know that it's going to make them feel bad because you feel bad. I don't want to bring other people down. I want to be around people and make them happy. That's, that's what I want to do. So when I don't feel well, I tend to go, you know, crawl in a corner somewhere and hide myself, you know, so I, and I'm sure a lot of us do that. But overall, things I think are going to start improving for us financially. I mean, financially. <laughs> things are going to start improving. I said financially anyway. Um, Things are going to start improving for us uh, as far as the people getting the knowledge that needs to be out there for fibromyalgia. Anyway, uh, we've, I hope that this comes out as well as it should because, again, we're having some technical issues today. Um, I hope that uh, you guys can uh, forgive us. And uh, as hard as we all work, we, uh, we have our little moments where we do stupid things and I miss, I miss speak. And as you, you can tell, I'm not really with it today. Um, anyway, it's been, it's been a long time coming. Um, we're going to do back to back episodes. So if you see, I'm wearing the same thing, that's why. But so when you watch number two, it's going to be done already. I'm going to be absent for a couple weeks, so we won't be doing anything. So that's why we're trying to get the other one done. So so that you'll have something to watch during that time. Um, we may or may not do the next, the third episode uh, at the end of this month. We may just wait till January because so much stuff's going on. I will keep you all posted and let you know how that's going, but we are definitely going to try and get this one and the next one out to you this month, okay? I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Don't stress yourselves out. Make sure you relax and take care of yourself. you got to take care of you first then everybody else. You got to come first. I know it sounds selfish, but it's needed. All right. As always, you are not alone. Neither am I. I love you. I love you.